<laughs> you get stung already? No. <laughs> What'd you do? Took that to the side of my knee. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I got a confession to make. I've been fooling y'all for a lot of years now. And I'm not even sorry about it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a sponsor. <laughs> hey, gotta get my get the right color on too. Bright green. Good morning. Yeah, sort of. It's morning. <laughs> Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Today we're dragging a lift. If you can see it back there, 50 foot and Pete, 50 footer and dragging Pete. We're going to do a high job today. It ain't, it's not real high. It was just out of the reach of the 34 footer we usually rent. Thankfully, we got it for the whole weekend. We're going, we might do two jobs with it, but I don't know yet. We're on a Saturday morning right now. It's 8.40. Missing my cartoons. <laughs> I know. Just watched Mr. Ed's video from last night. Him and Good Time Charlie were half finished with the job before the sun came up. I thought, man, I wish I could do that. I, ain't, I can't get up that early. <laughs> couple things to deal with is the sun stuntman Pete's been stunting on some skin problems and not supposed to be in full sun well all we got is full sun today and we'll be 40 foot up and working at a time of the year where the bees are not uh, nice yeah so we're, we're after a flow we're on a dearth there's only two things that bees like more than their own honey number one is fresh nectar which there's none of right now because nothing's in bloom and number two is somebody else's honey so they will be in a mood to rob and so we gotta once we get it opened up we gotta work fast can't be dilly dally and and uh, get it done so we're not 40 foot up in the air fighting a robin frenzy <laughs> sandwiched up bacon egg and cheese and Pete got steak, egg, and cheese. Yep. Made with lava. I <laughs> couldn't hold it. It's hot. Not going to apologize. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Some of you have noticed it, but don't know what you noticed. Um, sometimes when I shoot a video, I, it's, it turns out we do a great intro and then we get on the job and it's either too hard to record it or it's not going to be anything worth recording. And then sometimes I don't even shoot an intro because I don't think the job's going to be worth recording. And when I get there, it turns out to be, it could be mildly interesting or it could be, uh, something that might make a viral video. So sometimes i will take those two and merge the intro the good intro with the good video and make something out of it and you will never <laughs> you don't ever know and what's funny is some of y'all have noticed but you don't know you noticed so i'll get comments like hey you've lost weight and i'm like no that's four-year-old footage <laughs> i don't respond that way but that's what's happening or hey are you dying your hair no that's just old footage. <laughs> so today it's so obvious you can't you can't even get around it. We did a pretty fun, uh, interesting intro, and then we got on the job. It's a lift job. It sucked, but we could not video it. There was just no way to work the job and video it. And then the one we went, the, you're gonna actually see the removal. And if you want to fast forward to the removal, or, or if you just want to see the hive here it is but we didn't i didn't do an intro because i didn't think it was going to be anything and then when we got there i was like yeah you know this could be something so we started recording so that's what we've got today is, is a a compilation of two videos that otherwise it's part of a story so i've been doing that for many years i'll take and, and it's just to make a whole story it's just so the whole thing is interesting it kind of flows and so that you don't have a just immediately jump into we're cutting a ceiling open hives out that's it end of story you don't see anymore uh i'm not great at outros so my a lot of my stories end pretty abruptly but that's what you're seeing today so hope you enjoy it stick around for some more <laughs> i it, usually it's all the same job but occasionally i'll mix these up and today's so obvious i had to tell you 
Look at your lizard buddy right by your head. Yeah, he's in for a snack too. In the bottom of this little portable building. Oh, I forgot that song. I'll get it for you. I'm still smoking. I'll get it for you. Don't don't worry about getting up. <laughs> I'm over here smoking. I want to break. <laughs> He must have smoked the lizard out. He ran out over here on this piece of wood. Sound like an old 70s radio just a humming over here. I'm gonna have to tape up this peg line so I can cut it. Cause it's right there but I cut. And I do not want to make that if I can help it. Oh well, cut from the bottom. Are they starting to stack up already? <laughs> yeah, they're starting to pile up. I do love these Japanese saws. Oh, it's making me going. I'm halfway through the pipe already. Yeah, they're easy. <laughs> they're razor sharp. Watch your fingers. This bathroom is being removed in this building. That's why we're able to cut that line. We're going to cap it. They're going to the hardware store to get a cap for it. So this bathroom is being abandoned. Which is kind of a shame. I would like to try out the midget toilet. Hey, man, you're drawing flies. <laughs> Next to do what Tommy does is give me a big cloud, walk through it, then come under here. <laughs> it usually works for him, don't it? Yeah. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the <divine. laughs> Not enough nicotine in that they one. They said this one's been in there for two or three years now. And somebody tried to kill it a while back with some hornet spray. We found a can about a <laughs> almost a full can. Look like somebody dropped it and ran. Uh, it's a very rusty can. This has been a long, long time. They said last year, so I imagine that's probably accurate. Rolling. Action. As the wily dirt rooster addresses his prey. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. You know there's a hammer over there, right? Huh? <laughs> you know you have the hammer sitting right there. What hammer? Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, needs a hammer? I got a cat's paw down here. Well, not with those big mittens either, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now I got a smoke down there. I figured if you pop that open, you're going to want to send smoke down that alley. <laughs> you're hitting your own belly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched you put you hit yourself when you're not going to get past it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting past it. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. Help me, there's a piece of plywood laying on me. <laughs> you see anything there yet? Uh, no, but I'm just being a boy scout about it. Is it in, it's insulated. <laughs> yeah, I know it's insulated. I've seen that around the sewer pipe. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Oh, it's. I know it's insulated. I've seen it around the uh, sewer pipe. You can see the insulation. Okay, now you just puff the smoke back at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was for the belly comment. <laughs> now, the only thing you can see now is my wore out shirt. Yeah, that you can see. Elizabeth wants me to throw it away, but it's just too comfortable. <laughs> uh, clean it and turn it into a honey filter. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I think you got it, my George. <laughs> but now you have to get out just so we can, oh, you're going to shove it all the way over there. Why are they stinging me in the arm? This okay. thing's on trusses. So how thick? I just crap my pants under here. There's a, uh, about a four foot or five foot long snake shed that fell out. Oh, this thing's falling on me. P wasn't courteous enough to let me get out from under here before he pointed it out to me. He was getting back at me from, from the other day when I scared the crap out of him up on the scaffold. Nah, this went further back than that. This is the rat body inside the house. <laughs> I'm about to buy you. Get out from under here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I seen you bump and jump over to it. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, well, I'm glad we didn't meet the owner of that. Hey. That is big. Tell him there's a snake, he's a booking. <laughs>
happy. Yeah, uh, I was moving a little quickly. The big under boy this. can dance when he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> How much does that sweat is work? How much is that you got that scared out of you? <laughs> <laughs> I almost ripped the side off the building there. Still, you see fingerprints in the steel. <laughs> <laughs> No snake there. Oh wow. I got a side angle of the hive. Oh, uh, big? Yeah. You must have knocked a bunch of them on the ground. Yes, they were on the uh, insulation. <laughs> oh man. Oh, of course. There, goes. Yeah! <laughs> there goes number one. They're going for my hair. Yeah, they're going to mine too, the inside here. <laughs> there she is. She's still there. Well, she already stung me. <laughs> Get out of the ear, you're just aggravating me now. Four foot. So, I'm gonna take a five foot snake. Yeah. does drink after they let it go. You know how much of that was the head that we don't have? Right, I reached as much as I could. It was still stuck up in there. Oh, but it starts here and goes to here, sticks around that far down from that height. Got brood combs in it, but all the combs that would have honey in it look dry. I don't know, we'll see when we get into it. They've been building out the wax so hadn't they? Yeah, it's all pretty white wax. They ain't been in there that as long as they said it had to have the white wax that white. Yeah, they may have had bees in here for three years in a row, but it hadn't been a solid three year colony. Let's see how far to go in this other space. They're only between these two trusses. I'm ready if you want to stick the vac hose under here. Keeps falling off. They don't Ain't much room to work under here. Did you look at that brood I handed you? Yeah, it wasn't a bad pattern on it at all. It had a pretty good pattern. Did you look for eggs or not? No, no, I was trying to get the first started in, in film was, was Enter the Dragon. Of course, it was the only movie he ever lost in, too, because Bruce Lee kicked his butt. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a planned thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but Bruce Lee's movie, you're not going to win against the guy if it's, it's a movie. The next movie he did was his movie. Nobody got allowed to beat him up anymore. Still on the queen search. I got him running up in there, hiding under that insulation, but they can't hide from me. That's what's left. I've been vacuuming and cutting combs and handing it to Pete. I, don't even, I can't even tell what's in the combs. I hadn't been looking really. That looks like that looks like a pollen comb. Basically, I'm just laying on them. They're all over the ground. They're all over everything under here. They're crawling all over me too, so I'm getting stung quite a bit. Every time I bend my arm, though, be one in the. Creasing my elbow and I get stung. 
I actually did one one time where I found a hide in the house, and then, and then while I was leaving the place, I had to get a snake off of the lady's car. Oh man! <laughs> it was climbing up her. Uh, it was on her windshield, trying to go in her passenger's window that was rolled down. Oh, that would make me nervous. You got plenty of boom to, to boom out. Yeah, but when I boom out, I'm going up. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Boom down and out. There you go. He is making himself a nervous wreck up there. <laughs> You're almost back on the ground. You want me to do it? I got pictures down here. I can do it on the pictures. We had to take a break. It got too hot for us out there. The sun was beating on the side of the house and reflecting off on us, and we were we're in, in the full sun. So we took a break. Went and looked at another job real quick. Ran around chasing a, a patio umbrella that we could strap to that man lift. Couldn't find an umbrella anywhere, so now we're headed back to the job. But we're gonna stop here, get some egg rolls. They make some jam up egg rolls in this place. Hopefully they got some in right now. We'll find out. And you put it where you're aiming at as he's waving. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. There they are right there. Yeah. Pete's getting some chicken strips, but he wants to try my egg rolls, so I'm gonna get out here to the truck and eat them before he gets back out here. Egg rolls are bigger. What's an egg roll? That is not an egg roll. That is a Vietnamese. Oh, is, it, is it a quail egg roll? There's <laughs> a Vietnamese woman in there who makes these, and she says egg rolls. She's Vietnamese, she ought to know. Oh, tell her you want the Chinese version. <laughs> These things are good. They're so tiny. Instead, quail egg rolls. And they are crispy, aren't they? <laughs> You're making a freaking mess. Didn't plan on it. <laughs> you might notice we got shade now. It's 1.30. Sun's across the house a little bit. Shouldn't be cooking us from the reflection now. Pucker factor of one to ten, what's it at? <laughs> it's jobs like this, we need a drone. I told you, you want to teach or figure out how to work them, I got two of them at the house. Go.
see that snake skin. I dropped that board. Pete's going, look, look. And I'm like, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? I'm like, what? What? Over there, over there. And I look, and there's a four foot long hide hanging out. Now my mind said, you know that's not a snake, right? His body said levitate and move. 